Not since the Mariners' record-setting 116-win season back in 2001 has playoff baseball been played in Seattle, but with just a month left to play in the regular season, there's excitement in the Emerald City that the 2022 Mariners, led by their 21-year-old phenom and a revamped roster, will be the group to end the game's longest current postseason drought. We spent some time recently in Seattle to get an up-close look at one of the game's hottest teams, who these days are all smiles. We have some very exciting news for the future of the Seattle Mariners. The Mariners and Julio Rodriguez are finalizing a long-term deal. Uh, oh my, he's, he's more nervous than I am, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you better believe it. It guarantees Rodriguez $210 million. If it maxes out, $470 million. It could be the most financially lucrative deal in American sports history. Uh, you sign there. And then you have to print your name there. This is a fantastic moment in the history of our organization. You know, we needed to do something unique and hopefully ensure that Julio spends the rest of his career here in Seattle. We're done? You're done, you're done, you're, you're done, you're done. Well, you're done for about really? 17 years. For the foreseeable future, it's gonna be Julio Rodriguez who's the face of this franchise. His energy just captivates everybody and energizes everybody. Definitely brings the spark to the team. I tell him every day he's the best player in baseball. Hey, you're the best player in the game, I told you that. I told you that. It's incredibly exciting for us, and, and he's going to be a Mariner for a long, long time. I'm very proud of you. Thank you so much. This is it. It's about the most exciting thing. <laughs> mm, let's go, baby. Now it's time to work. The magic carpet ride of a 2021 season comes to a final close, but the Mariners were all so close to getting to the playoffs for the first time in 19 seasons. We came up just short. Uh, the last weekend was exhilarating. Our players felt that. We felt like we were close. You know, and then we approached the offseason like a team who feels like they're right at the doorstep. Coming to spring training this year, you know, new additions, obviously Robbie Ray. We need somebody at the top of our rotation to kind of anchor that down, and he has really liked our team and then we made the trade for Winker and Suarez, so we acquired more offense. You know, Ty France has had an unbelievable year. A lot of those things have worked out. And we went on a, a bit of a bender in the midsummer, headed into the All-Star game. They have won 14 games in a row. You know, by the time we entered the, the trade deadline, our top target, Luis Castillo. Then all of a sudden I get the call. I think we're going to get him. I've heard that. I've gotten that call a few times. I think we're going to get him. But when I got the call, it's like, we got him. Uh, that for me was like, oh, wow. This is going to be a difference maker. The trade that Jerry DePoto made, to me, it means this team's all in. Just a message to the whole team. Added a big arm that should push us over the edge and give us a real chance into the deeper part of the season. Starting the midsummer, we picked it up. We've been playing really well, and to join back to a team that's in playoff contention. Oh, send them, send them. Looking forward to finishing strong and getting in the playoffs. Yeah. I would also say that part of that surge for our team, if not the biggest part, was particularly what was happening in our bullpen. They've been honestly just carrying us all year, and now they have that their cool nickname, and they're, they're running with that. Los Bomberos. Mooney is the one that came up with it. He's like, it means a fireman. They have been putting out the fire. The fireman is coming. You talk about the Bomberos. If they had the lead in the sixth or seventh inning, game's over. They've been lights out. Doesn't matter who's coming out of, the, out of that door in left field, they're going to get the job done. When you're thinking or dreaming of how you want a roster to turn out, this is really what we thought would be the best version of the Mariners. It's been fun to watch this team. I think we're a fun team to watch from our fan base standpoint because they, the Julio personality versus J.P. Crawford and what Gino Suarez has brought. Beautiful day. <laughs> what beautiful day. <laughs> Where am I going? Where, where's that 28? Each team has to have personality, and I'm a big believer in letting those guys, let their personalities come out. We got a delight. Seattle! 
Everybody kind of on the same vibe right now. Everybody just having fun. Smile, no smile, skip. Oh, yeah, smile. Smile. Be happy. I love the energy that we got right now. Goodbye, Zandi, that's it. This our city. It's a great time. It's a fun time to be a mayor. Shut up! <laughs> All right? The Mariners, long overdue, longest playoff drought in MLB, longest playoff drought currently in major North American pro sports. Matt Trout thing. Can't go a weekend without hearing that, unfortunately. And it's, you know, it's sad because, you know, the Mariners have had some really good teams and it just hasn't worked out. And, you know, you see some of the film from like the 95, 99, like 2001 teams. The Mariners are going to play for the American League Dome and, and Safeco Field were absolutely slammed and kind of gave a little bit of perspective of what it's like to be a playoff team in Seattle. Now we're starting to win. We're in that playoff spot right now and they're there and they're loud and it's really, it's really exciting. It would be pretty amazing to be known as one of the guys who came up from that rebuild that got us to the postseason and, and ended that playoff drought. I think uh, it'd be pretty nice to be Seattle famous. I, I, I wouldn't be sad about that at all. If you are part of the team that not only wins its first playoff series in a long time, this is my moment. that goes to the first World Series ever in Seattle, I can't take my stripes. that's immortality. They can't erase my hours. No, we can't be responsible for what's happened over the past 20 years, but we can be accountable to what happens this year. The city's hungry for playoff baseball, and us as a team, we are also hungry for that. Seattle! It has become a kind of a rallying cry. Now is our time and end the drought. Never played the game to be a contestant. Never joined the league to ride benches. The winds hit different when they don't expect it. You know what 50,000 feels like when you question is this real life? What a magical finish here at T-Mobile Park. The city deserves it. It's our city. They've been grinding with us for a long time. This capacity crowd on their feet and screaming. The Mariners are dancing in the infield. Hopefully we will get over that hump and win for many years to come. Oh, Seattle, you are beautiful.